In this segment, we're going to talk about framing the photograph. And the piece of architecture that I've chosen here to show this is Philip Johnson's classic glass house, one of the icons of modernism in New Canaan, Connecticut. Now, this is taken at the height of the fall, as you can see by the color of the leaves here. And what I've done is moved down the hill and framed the house with the branches of this tree here, which lends it a very picturesque view. Now, also, so when you're shooting uh, glass, it's very important to understand the quality of the reflections in the building. Now, although the building here does not take up a lot of the picture, it's a small part of the picture, it's absolutely critical that what you're showing here in the reflection is so, something of dynamic interest. In this case, it looks like black and white, whereas the rest of the photograph is all color. So this creates a very interesting contrast between the colors of the picture and the black and white aesthetic shown in the glass house itself. Now, when you're shooting pictures of architecture, sometimes it's great to show the architecture in the environment. Now, this is obviously not a close-up of the building itself. It is a photograph of the environment with the building in it. And framing it in this kind of way is always going to lend you a picturesque quality to your photography.